So this has been, for me, a very interesting day so far, and we are embarked on something just a little bit different. And I guess, as a singer in the choir, this is a bit different for you, from your perspective as well. What strikes you at this point in the journey so far? What's very interesting, as someone who's normally an end user of a creative product, I would normally under, under most circumstances, I would receive a new piece and it will have been created by the composer separately and I would receive it, learn it, interpret it and deliver it. What's very interesting about this project and rather unusual as a performer is that I'm being involved right at the very front end of it in the process of discussing how it's going to be made, both its structure and also the, the creative content. That's unusual and it's, that's really interesting. Um, secondly, it's very interesting because it's, it's cross genre and so as a singer I'm used to talking to other musicians about, about what we do and how we do it and negotiating how we might do a particular phrase differently. Once you start working with a dancer that's a different vocabulary and so one of the other very interesting things is exploring how we're going to talk to each other and I anticipate that being something very kind of fruitful but also quite chewy about the next sessions. But I think I have a feeling that that's this, this world of uh, music and dance is not entirely unknown to you. I've done a couple of things like this before but actually not quite so far upstream as this. I've, I've been involved in projects with text where I've helped to choose the text and helped to develop the relationship between the music and the text but not anything that's had a physical element. And like dance, so this genuinely is a first for me as well, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. One of the really exciting things for me about working in Smalls is, is working with a group of musicians who I, th I have the sense have a lot of experience and quite a, quite a sort of big hinterland. Tell me a bit about your journey and your story. I've had a, I had a very unorthodox entry into singing kind of right from the beginning. I, I had sung at university, but then I went away from music for about 10 years and worked in advertising, I worked in arts administration and then had my kind of Damascene moment when I realised I wanted to be a singer, so I came back into it through private training and have gradually sort of built up a, I would say, a very generalist career as a singer, but um, that's also included establishing a little production company of my own and so learning in the last three or four years to make my own work, hence my familiarity with, the, with this broad process, even though the specifics of this project are a little bit unusual for me. And if I were to ask you if you could define what it is to be a creative person, what creativity is? It's a very interesting one for me because I, as I've already said, I tend to initially used to think of myself as an interpreter primarily. But in the last couple of years, I've been doing a little bit more of the kind of involved on the creative side um, with a bit of writing, but also working with composers as to choose text for them to set for me and working specifically with people who have my vocal capacity in mind. So that's become a much more kind of even partnership with people. I think the things that are very important about the creative process are essentially being very curious all the time about what other people in the process have to offer and try not to be limited by one's own experiences or one's own preferences for certain things that one might know. I might know that I do certain things well or less well and not necessarily choosing those things just because they're shown me off advantageously but actually to kind of ferret out the interesting stuff um, I think there's I think it's important so apart from that kind of curiosity and open-mindedness also a, a desire to be surprised and a preparedness to if necessary be disappointed on the way to finding something that feels genuinely kind of interesting and novel and best and worst case scenarios yeah. for this project so best case scenario, we get something that is, you know, um, an amazing jigsaw, as I think we're thinking of it at the moment, or at this early stage of pieces that will fit together into a, a whole, but which can be extracted in separate different pieces and used in an, in other parts of the liturgy, potentially, or even you know, if there are solo pieces that I can take and use elsewhere. I mean, the ideal is that this is 
a piece that has a life beyond its first performance. Worst case scenario, we do it and it remains a, an entity which which is of of its nature very whole and therefore can't be split up in that way and that makes slightly limits the way one could use it again. But other than that, I can't see any, any downside to it really. So you're looking forward to the journey? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Claire, thanks very much. Cool. Thank you.